All right, all right, all right. Here we are. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, it's a late one. Uh, it happens by the time I get everything together. And, you know, you'll see a bunch of shorts and stuff published uh, beforehand because it's like every time I want to go live, at first I have to edit the last one to, like, delete it to then make space. So it's like a whole bunch of work. And, my God, it's just to keep up with it all. Anyways, what do we have up on screen? Well, I'll let you make of it what you will when you take a look. But to me, it looks like modern human is a much smaller cranium in size to what appears to be the classic elongated skulls. Uh, you know, particularly those down in uh, Peru, Caracas, um, and throughout the world, Moldova especially as well. And then the Devonian, even larger, what seems to be a giant human, maybe even Nephilim, or who knows. But uh, Neanderthal, could that be Sasquatch, or could that be the elongated uh, demigods of before? What are they doing with these names to these skulls and the genetic code that goes along with it in their genome program? We're told, oh, the Neanderthals, they were just living in caves with club and bone. But <clears throat> and in fact, it seems like, no, those were the gods that... Everybody was trying to imitate and extend their skulls to get to the same size. And this does, does a vone in uh, even more so. <clears throat> it's, yeah, it's something else. And I guess before we move along, I'll quickly just hop over to the third computer to switch the screen here. And boom, again, look at this. Modern human compared to the Devonian uh, size molar. These things were giants. We had giants in those days. This is pre-cataclysm, and they were giants. They had larger brains. Uh, they're written about in all legends, lore, and sacred texts, claiming to be demigods and gods. But what? Who? Who were they? And the hieroglyphs that go with them, and the geoglyphs. Sorry, more particularly what I was uh, going over right now. And we have Aztec chieftains. And Olmec chiefs, heads and in their dresses, in their attire, built into Alberta Badlands. And I had the pleasure of going and exploring it a bit this past summer. We will be going back again this summer. If you want to be a part of that exploration, come join us. But today we're going to go a bit into the Faram Foundation's research of this site and more specifically the geoglyphology of it, uh, the sites here. And this is what I'm going to be doing my best to be figuring out ahead of time. All right, bear with me, please, as this is a Bernie first time ever. We're attempting live Google Earth. All right, we're looking at the Badlands Guardians. This guy over here, this is the, oops. Guess I need to share the screen, don't I? Here we go. All right. Badland Guardian number two. This is where I went and took pictures of each of these hillsides, all of them being terraces upon terraces upon terraces. 
And let me find for you those pictures right now. Um, hopefully, oh, wrong folder. Wrong folder again and again. Somewhere. No. All right. Never mind. Let's continue on Google Earth. Going to have to edit that out. My apologies. All right. So this is Guardian 2. We have another face here. Um, then there's these two faces right here. This guy, the white uh, bird headed. Um, what looks like from Easter Island style uh, on the west side. And then on the east side, this dark brimmed, what looks like Moai uh, from Hawaii or uh, from New Zealand uh, with the big nose, big uh, lower lip, like the megalithic structures, big brow, and then the big headdress head right here. Uh, is this a face over here? Possibly, possibly. Um, oh, Bessie, the computer, she's slow with Google Earth, eh? All right, then we have the main Badland Guardians, the sky right here, and then what I'd be believed to be the above feature right here. Uh, the Olmec face right here. And another face right here. Uh, it looks kind of mean mugging. All right, and then there's another face is up here. Apparently, I see you right here now. But what's missing from what I saw last time and I can't find it, and it used to be marked, and now I can't even see it. But it was a perfect, like, Western Plains indigenous warrior uh, figure, just like the bottom one, but can't seem to find it today. Uh, anywho, we've documented a solid seven or eight different faces in here. Um, and I'm going to be going back this summer to explore, and everybody's welcome to come. Was it up this way, maybe? If you see the warrior face, let me know in the comments. There's another whole view of them up here. Uh, how do we go back in time on Google Earth? I don't know how to do it. Anywho. All right, all right. Alien Knowledge, Solar Marshall, good to see you, my friends, everybody. Welcome, Austin Murphy, Bob John, Winning Streak, Solve Mist, Aurorian, Hans Dietrich, good to see you, brother. Um, all right, what am I doing here? Whoops. We're on Google Earth. Uh, um... Now, why not check out uh, Red Rock Goonie? This place right here, also absolutely amazing. all sorts of balls balls and what looks like pyramid tops and runes 
uh, also known as Bernie's Balls. I dubbed when I was out there this summer, took a couple pictures with some Bernie's Balls, but there's so many balls out there. You can, everybody can have their own balls. And look at this structure, like the quite the plateau. I remember it. It's like a buried pyramid almost. And how are all the balls on top of the ridges? That's what makes no sense. And just balls upon balls upon balls. And let's switch it up and turn it reddish because we're at Red Rock Cooley. It's a little purple. What else? So, if you want to come explore Medicine Hat, Badland Guardians, and Red Rock Cooley this summer, let me know. Get a hold of me, and we're making it happen. And right, how many feet? Like some of them are a couple hundred, if not like. Uh, oops, which comment am I trying? Right here. There we go. Uh, a couple hundred feet, if not, it's like the bottom of the valleys. It's got to be like four or five hundred, if not more, between top to bottom. It's quite, quite substantial. Uh, where all the balls are and where they aren't. Like highlands, lowlands, going down into lowlands, balls mostly on the highlands. And this guy's like a buried pyramid. Um, this one and this one also seem like very pyramidal mounds, step pyramid. Like when I was there. I will just have to find the folder of my pictures to share with everybody. Um, here we go. I believe. Yes. Yes, it's finally working out for once. Uh, window room. There we go. Here are my photos of what we were just looking at from above. And you can clearly see that same mound, plateau, and then all of the different balls on top. And this place is something else. Like these things are size of cars, minivans, some of them, it was, it's wild. And they're on top of, yeah, here from this angle, you can see this very mound, very, very pyramidal like. Um, and yeah, it's something else all on top. Right? Like maybe, maybe. I know, it's so weird. They're freaking straight anomalies. Um, and then they have these, like, what are known as, in megalithic rocks, like human holes created in them. And what I actually discovered in these holes, right here is a great example. You can see that it's not erosion because there's this thin what looks maybe mica or solid uh, outer harder layer that chips off and it goes all the way and in indents and goes into the indentation of these cups and that underneath it is where it chips out. So it's like these are most likely um, were made and heated. This is not erosion. It couldn't be erosion because it hasn't chipped through to the a uh, softer layer underneath and I've got several more examples of this and what I'm talking about uh, in these there's a couple more yeah here see so in this one another one you can see underneath there's the softer layers and that the holes actually go in um, 
Where's better examples though? Yeah, here we go. So also in this one, right? Here's this big one and you can see two chips going into it that it's lower underneath and that it's actually the darker going all the way through. Uh, this is sand and dirt collecting. So there's actually a layer, a harder layer on the outside and this is human working. Uh, most likely probably geopolymer, but uh, I could be mistaken. Could be biogeology as well from a larger era, ancient era, the Titan. And here over here, you can see a couple more pieces that broke off and one chip going into one of the indentations, but the chip itself uh, breaking off and showing the same lighter going into it underneath. So it's like even the erosion story is just debunked right here. This ero claiming that this was formed from erosion is impossible because you can see the chips and that there's a different casing on the outer stone. Uh, let's see. Some of them. I guess, sorry for going so fast. Here's a massive one. A whole bunch of them, some dissections, another massive one, and like what kind of almost looks like pyramidal mounds or buried something. And here again, look at that. That's definitely a pyramidal mound, a uh, buried building of some sort. Uh, another one of these rocks split. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree, or a giant something, right? Definitely not modern Homo sapien. Uh, probably from some of the skulls of the Neanderthals or the uh, Desvonians that uh, we were showing at the start of the show. All right, let's continue on here as we go through... Again, the pyramidal mound in the very background of this site. This is Red Rock Cooley, Alberta, south uh, west of Medicine Hat, Alberta, and the Medicine Hat Badland Guardians are northeast of Medicine Hat. Alberta. So two sites uh, very close to one another. And here we can see a section with clear striations, clear um, concentric circles uh, throughout the uh, broken open round stone and the lichen growing and how long it takes for this lichen to grow to date it, right? That's quite some time. Um, something else and quite some time for this to be remaining on top of the hill here's another broken one again showing the concentric circles even with graffiti over top scratched over you can still see the uh, circles are a fundamental part of the rocks uh, the balls whatever they are um, yeah and Shout out to my moms. There's moms taking a picture of me as I take a picture of her. All right. Shout out to my moms. And some of the pictures you see uh, are taking from my mom, some of the albums that I've done uh, so far of the trips that we did last summer. And while this one clearly I was taking because I got my mom's taking a picture of me, but then you see her taking the picture of some of the others. All right, all right, all right. How's everyone doing? Liking this so far? And look at the smoke. This was, we were there in June, I believe. And it was just, it, the fires last year, the forest fires had been burning for several months already. It was just crazy. 
just crazy. So I couldn't even get a drone up. Uh, I took it to try and it was just, it wasn't even worth it. Shout out Orion actually, who got me the new battery. Uh, I still have that uh, on waiting to put on order until about another month or two. And then uh, as soon as the full snow melt is gone, uh, I will order it. I didn't order it back then at the beginning of the fall. Uh, or going into winter because there was no sense. I would just would have had the same problem of a dead battery um, by the time spring came for me to use. Uh, I made the mistake of using a drone in the snow once, and it was the first time and the last time as it broke, and the second one malfunctioned and flew off and just was never recovered. Uh, all right, so I was like, never do that again, especially with the DJI. And anyway, so we're going to be doing the dronage this year, and thank you, Orion, for uh, sending the funds to get that battery come spring. Now, look at this. We got what I saw. That's bad angle, actually, of it, but it's what well, it seems like steps in these firm um, mounds, mounds, straight mounds, pyramidal mounds. Here's another what was fascinating. It was like a dark green inside, and then there was like this thick outer make, well, thin like probably about a centimeter less than an inch thick but thick in the sense of if it's like pika or mica or whatever grows uh from age uh from when it was originally um put there just then that's substantial aging but this completely green boulder amongst all of the red boulders was something else Again, one of the pyramidal looking mounds uh, also looks like it's got steps and layers, but not nearly the level of terracing as uh, at the uh, Medicine Hat Badlands site, the Guardian site on the uh, eastern side. This you can see the steps a bit better with the rocks. So, if you want to come camping and exploring these sites uh, this summer, let me know. Get a hold of me, and I'm thinking, you know, doing an RV trip uh, for probably about a week throughout here. And, of course, we will also go down to J uh, Waterton National Park on the Montana border. Oh, Moms is watching. She gave a like on Facebook. Shout out again to the moms. Uh, we're doing it again this year, moms. Uh, hope to have you come along. It's going to be fun. We're going to do exploring these sites, and we're going to try to get a couple campers and camp out at each site ahead of time, uh, of which I will be contacting the owner of uh, the Medicine Hat Badlands guardian ranch land uh prior to this and arranging the visitation to that site again another looking mound at this uh, red rock coulee site uh oops there we have cactus on screen my bad looking at two different screens so many screens and so many red rocks red balls giant red balls all over mounds, all over Red Rock Coulee. We got mounds and we got Red Rock. Red balls. Red balls and mounds. Balls and mounds. Balls and mounds at Red Rock Coulee. Southern Alberta, y'all. It's the, it's the bird of Badlands. Oh, see, there's, there's the motherly love. Shout out to the moms. Moms love red. Oop, there we go. Shout out to moms. Love the red rock coolie. As did I, mom. That was fun. We got to go back. We're going back. 
right? Are they from UFOs? Could be. A lot of people are suspecting that in the audience so far. Fascinating, fascinating stuff. And to be so close to the Medicine Hat Badland Guardian site uh, and just all the different Badlands of Southern Alberta. I, I have only covered a wee fraction of the sites and the even that I've been to and taken pictures with with my mom's last summer, such as uh, buff, head smashed in Buffalo Jump. Um, yeah, and the west side of Lethbridge there. It's something else. I have yet to release those pictures. Once again, I believe we got Tiku. If showing the right pictures. Just a fascinating sight. And it, it just goes on and on and on. It's wild how big, how large this site is. It's a, it's a provincial park, right? And so here's uh, Medicine Hat. Here is Medicine Hat, Alberta itself, uh, going through the coulee or the valley of uh, the center of Medicine Hat. And so, again, right outside Medicine Hat, in between these two sites, uh, more suspicious mounds, what look like more pyramids, uh, something else. All right, hopefully... Hopefully this is the album... I believe we are almost there. We are entering the Medicine Hat Badlands site, I suspect. Yeah, there we go. Boom. And here we have the terraces of the Medicine Hat Badland Guardians. And... What am I talking about? I'm talking about actually, I should share this again right here. Uh, so hope. Hopefully this is what is showing. Oh, no, it is not yet. Here we go. This place right here and the geoglyphs and what I'm going to have to go back and do uh, this next summer is go to these numbered sites and document the actual lines, the earthen works that are the geoglyphs uh, at these um, locations, these right here, uh, and take pictures of these earthworks that um, Arthur Fairham uses to plot out the different locations that turn out to be the exact uh, islands and tips of peninsulas and ancient pyramid sites of the world. Um, that is just spectacular and how he found the Medicine Hat Badland Guardians themselves uh, to begin with uh, from the geoglyphs uh, on other sites of the world, all pointing to the Medicine Hat Badlands location. And here we have the top of the Olmec as well as uh, the what people call the Troll King 
or the Viking warrior king or something. Um, and again, going north tip of Greenland, south tip of Cornwall, southern Canarian Islands, junction of Ottawa River and St. Lawrence Seaway, entrance to River of Portsmouth, uh, Matlin, Canada, southern end of Cape Hatterns, Chaco Canyon, home of the Anazani Indians, Shiprock Mountain, New Mexico, USA, sacred to Anadazi Indians, um, and degree radio, Cape Blanco, Oregon, USA. So I have to go and document, uh, hopefully with the drone, I'll be able to get uh, images of the earthworks and these radial sites that um, Dr. Er, Arthur Fairham has used off of Google Earth and actually verify them all. Uh, here at this radio site, south end of Long Island Sound, New York, uh, Inspirational Peak, Montana, U.S., Pensacola Bay, Florida, Mobile Bay, Alabama, Sabine River entrance at Port Arthur, Texas, Salt Lake City, the Great Salt Lake, Entrance to San Diego Bay, California, USA. Um, and that this is the map of all of the radial sites plotted out at the Medicine Hat Badlands Guardians. You have it going through Mexico City, uh, the City of the Gods Pyramid site. You have Hawaii, you have Giza, you have Tripoli, Libya, you have the Bosnian Pyramids. Uh, you have the Russian border, you have Greenland, uh, you have Alaska, you have, it's just, it's wild. Um, and, all right, the Badlands, um, share there, whoops, got, let's go back to sharing pictures of the site uh, that I got this past summer and that every single uh, hill face is covered in these uh, parallel symmetrical uh, terraces and that this is all the way to the top. So this is ancient agricultural land and development as well as structural engineering of these faces and these geoglyphs. So this is undeniably um, intelligently built and thousands, if not tens of thousands of years old from a past mega civilization. It's undeniable. And if you want to come back and explore these sites with me this summer, get a hold of me. Um, so, yes, this is a place that these are places you want to come visit. Welcome to all the oops. Uh, uh, there we go. Just catching up with the new commenters get you them blue wrenches all right let's continue on with the photo show uh as you can see every single angle of every hill face has these parallel terraces still built into them and that is why the sun rays no matter what angle you take the pictures from above you get these faces and it's because it is built by design. It is not just some magic flaw or pareidolia coincidences. It is literally stairs upon stairs. It's pyramidal. You are correct, Solar Marshall. It, it literally is. Every single one is. It's just, it's nuts. It's undeniable that these are um, intelligently terraformed and built. Like look at these ridges all the way up so that no matter what angle you take of the badland guardians you are getting the native faces of the different warrior tribes and peoples 
it's uh look see here's another one all the way up and that these are substantial heights i climbed them it was several hundred feet uh for sure if not meters actually like they were huge huge they are huge huge hills and every single angle all the way up stairs basically stairs it is uh undeniable undeniable um terraformed architecture and no nobody has seen this before i am the first to go there and take these pictures with my mom shout out janice conkin again love you mom uh anyways point being this is a world first and you're seeing it here now. These are the sides of the Alberta Medicine Hat Badland Guardians, and they are built by design. Undeniable stairs, terraces, all the way up from top to bottom of these uh, hills. And if you want to be some of the first people to ever actually walk these lands, to explore them and uncover the mysteries of them with us, get a hold of me. Let's make it happen. Thinking sometime in June again this year. And as you can see, every single hillside has these parallel stairs. Everything, it's, it's, the specific reason that no matter what time of year it is, so what position the sun is uh, in the cycle or what time of day it is and where the sun is and where the satellite or the plane is above taking these pictures every single time you get the faces. It's impossible to be pareidolia, okay? Why that is, is because of these built terraces. It is built by design, intelligent design, and a shit ton of work. It's terraforming on a ridiculous scale, people. And what am I talking about? I am talking about, of course, this right here. This, this is what you're looking at. These two faces, uh, these are the hills of it. And this guy here, as well as these two guys here. These ancient megalithic giant folks and these valleys are just filled with the terraces and the earthenworks, the radials, the geoglyphs, and stairs like no other. Once again, here's the plotted out uh, areas of where it uh, plots out to with all the geoglyphs of those faces. And these are the stairs that are built upon it that built it up, that there, and they go on. And these are the hills that make those faces, and they're all terraces everywhere you go. Everywhere you look, it's terraces upon terraces. You can just zoom in, and all you see are terraces, all right? It's everywhere, and I. Uh, it, this is a world first. This is a world first that you are seeing these terraces and that this is all built by design and it is structurally engineered to be seen from above just like nazca peru like it is undeniable and what do you get in nazca peru but you get terraces upon terraces and mounds and also giant balls right it's 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 just it's undeniable at this point and you're welcome worlds i hope you all are enjoying this and if you want to come be a part come be a part and get a hold of me ahead of june when we plan on going back all right so again um this is the FAM foundation, uh, the research of these geoglyphs, of these sites, and how Fairham originally found the Medicine Hat Badland Guardian sites, these geoglyph locations, 
was from him deciphering other geoglyph sites such as the Bosnian pyramids and that in uh, his study of the geoglyphs, he was able to date the Bosnian pyramids to at least 22, uh, 23,000 years old because of when they appeared and when they disappeared in other sites, geoglyph sites around the world, and no new sites had them mapped. But the Bosnian pyramids and the Medicine Hat Badlands are both uh, in each other, so maybe that states that the Medicine Badlands sites are that old. I'm going to have to ask Mr. Faram about that one day. Uh, but so here we go, and that what Faram found was that the actual sides, the angles, the lengths of the pyramids themselves plot out to other specific sites in the world, specifically the Pyramid of the Sun, uh, which he dates at 32,000 BCE, so that's 34,000 years old, um, that it has the Lewis Island, Tunis, and Luxor uh, locations, and that there's also cities there. He also found this crater in between South and Central America, uh, and that there was lost uh, places there apparently but uh then you have when you add in the northwest south east cardinal uh directions of the pyramid as well you get the south border of russia still today uh north gotland island north tip of british isle way of nazarenes uh cape town south africa uh apparently all also added in which is just wild then the building of pyramid and moon and the earth of the Bosnian pyramids, and he dates them as uh, 9500 BC, so or BCE. So that would uh, make them uh, just after the cataclysm. So the survivors then built these two guys. I guess it uh, would make sense. Um, or at the time of the cataclysm, maybe 11,000, so that'd be 11,500, maybe right at the time of the cataclysm, uh, that they did it one last ditch. Who knows? Who knows? But they also add even more sites when you take in the angles and lengths and the cardinal points of uh, the main sides of the pyramids. And it just maps out to more crazy ancient sites, including Nazca lines. And then when you have the three pyramids together and their angles, you actually get even more additional sites and points, including, uh, what the heck is it called? The Straits of Gibraltar, I believe. Yeah, to Portugal, like it just... It's wild. Uh, Moscow, the old city Moscow, also with these geoglyph radials plot out to pretty much the current boundaries of modern day Russia, which is just astounding uh, that the actual borders of Russia are built into the old city of Moscow. Um, if you want to deny this, like it's just, it's wild. It's absolutely mind blowing uh, what geoglyphology really proves and shows and the secret knowledge of mapping and empire. And Siri saying that uh, 9,500 BC and it was still to this. So potentially Moscow is, uh, 11,000 years old as well, according to it. Uh, here he also has stage three of the Bosnian pyramid. So this is uh, post-cataclysm. And these are the bastion forts, a.k.a. star forts, that are built literally on the tops of each of the Bosnian pyramids. And that the angles from the central hole here, this is like a starting point that you then ma map everything out. And it also plots out to all of these new sites as well. So it's just ridiculous. So that was uh, one of the pyramid tops. Now you got two of the pyramid tops, the other bastion fort up there, 
uh, more sites that it plots out to. Uh, just absolutely ridiculous. And those give you the pretty much the modern European Union all the way, including Ukraine. They try it. Like, see, look at that. It's just wild. How is something that is thousands of years old plotting out modern day stuff? It's wild. Here's one of the Russian European border markings. Uh, look at that ancient Tartarian um, monolith, megalith, built into a radial of one of the sides of the Bosnian pyramids, or a just if you want to believe that the Bosnian pyramids aren't real, that miraculously somehow the exact angles and lengths of the sides of the Bosnian mountains, natural mountains, uh, somehow map out directly to this international border marking that is hundreds or thousands of years old. Like, just wild. And the second site that, well... The this one that was so there's probably another one of these here, but it got crushed and then well oh look at that the new border marking well they still still there, so if uh, you want to read up fully on it published in 2020 the ancient secrets of the old world by Arthur Faram highly recommend the book and highly recommend checking that all out. Uh, further and doing your own research on it because well it's mind-blowing and changes your perception on reality all right so what else do we got for you today um yes so we were looking at of course this guy right here and so this, uh, oops, got to hit share screen again. Duh. The indigenous warrior, the main medicine hat, badland warrior figure with the second face, the third face, and the fourth face. And this right here being a road going up to an oil derrick on this property. And... It's like this is a different time of year. It doesn't matter if it's in summer, if it's in fall, or if it's in winter. It doesn't matter what angle you take. You get the faces every time because they are literally built of terraced stairs from top to bottom. These are mega terraform sites. And see, here's another one. Oh, look at that. Still, you got the face here, the face here, the face here, and the face clearly here. And it's just a low-res blurry image. If it was more in-depth, you'd have more detail. All right, so now we got the bird. We're starting off with the bird, and this is by design. This is a bird. It was probably painted fully at one time. Uh, and this is in across the border, south of the border, and the not Canadian Rockies, but the Montana Rockies, and this is Giant's Playground. And as we get into Giant's Playground, this is the perfect time to change the background a little bit. Um, we'll go all this way. All right. Um, so, where am I here? This guy, no, this guy. Also, in Giant's Playground, we have giant monoliths throughout, and these are megaliths, and they are mega megaliths. And this guy here, this is the smiling Buddha of Giant's Playground. Um, we have this are the mystery rocks of Saskatchewan. They are part of Cypress Hills Interprovincial Park between Alberta and uh, Saskatchewan. Here's Medicine Hat Badland Guardians, of course. Again, a different time of year, a different image, still always there. All right, this is in Canmore, Alberta, and this is another uh, amphitheater mountain. When you stand right in the middle, it is a perfect amphitheater. It's wild. 
This is from above. This is Omak, Alberta. This is known as uh, Canada's Stonehenge. It's been dated to 4500 BC, so that's 6500 years minimum uh, astrological calendar. And this is also within 100 kilometers, uh, so 60 miles of Medicine Hat Badland Guardians. And then this site here is about uh 400 i believe so what 250 260 miles uh from medicine hat site i think uh oh this is at the bottom of head smashed in buffalo jump uh it's a little bit of another story here we go another picture of medicine or yeah medicine hat badland guardians main guys you can see the face here the face here face here uh the nose the brow up on that guy um all right so this is uh, another one at giant's playground giant giant megalithic dolem style at the very top um this is also cypress hill alberta at another megalithic site there uh this is another giant dolem at um Montana uh, megalithic site of Giants Playground, continuing and just nonstop, ridiculously sized megaliths. And then here we go. This is also at Cypress Hill Intra Provincial Park, Alberta. And this is closer to where that excavation was. And this here, giant megaliths as well. So uh, so the Saskatchewan Mystery Rocks on one side, the eastern side of the park are those, and then the western part side supposedly has this site and those rocks. Here we have Swan Mountain in Giant's Playground as well, and you can see the beaks, the eyes, the head, the neck, the body, all the way, the wings up. This is Swan Mountain in Giants Playground as well. Um, we have one of the faces in Giants Playground. This is also Giants Playground, Montana. Again, right here. It just it's nonstop. Like it's it's crazy how much uh, giant titan left over society hidden pre it's at pre-atlantean or atlantean pre-cataclysm works and there was giants in those days they say and there was megafauna of giant dinosaurs giant reptiles giant sloths giant mammoths giant mastodons giant saber-toothed tigers giant armadillos giant beavers giant spiders like giant everything and we have legends of dragons okay so well, we have legends of giant rhinos, again, in Giant's Playground, Montana, a mountain of a giant rhino skull. And I really want to make it to this place in 2024 because apparently it is built completely of megalithic blocks and stone as well. This also being a face uh, in Giant's Playground uh, uh, from above, I believe. Uh, and then we have another Dolem in Giant's Playground. Yet again. So one last time, here's the Medicine Hat Badland Guardians and the numbered sites here. These numbers are specifically uh, where you can see these earthenworks, these lengths, these radials that uh, uh, Arthur Ferrum uses to plot out on the map to the other locations. And here is the longitude, longitude for you, the uh, GPS location. And boom, we have Okotoks Erratic, all right? This is close, right south of Calgary, Alberta, where I live. I've been here many times. Every time I go inside of it, I magically lose reception, especially even filming. And I, oops, 
Do you do see a face, many faces in it actually? I can see one here, but this big face right here, always see it every time. It's not pareidolia. There's several more within it. This site is spectacular and it's erratic because it's ridiculous and it is a leftover civilization. Here's another picture of Omak, Alberta, Canada's Stonehenge, supposedly. Uh, this is a picture not doing any justice to Writing on Stone Park. That's another site we will be going to. And look at this. People will call the Medicine Hat Badland Guardians whatever you want. Viking Beard Squid Hat. That's someone Someone dubs them that. But no, it's an Aztec warrior with a Quetzalcoatl uh, headdress, dragon headdress. Uh, and the native warriors, the Olmecs, the Aztecs, the Viking. And again, here we have more of... So this is from above the Saskatchewan Mystery Rock site. And you can see the holes put into them. And again, it's like, are they drilled or are they constructed that way? As I showed at Red Rock Cooley. Uh, from above, and shout out to uh, Michael Collins, uh, Wandering Wolf Productions. Uh, I believe these pictures were actually taken by his drone, and we are going to be doing an interview together very soon. Um, it's somewhere in my email, we he we've just been it's missing, but supposedly it is there. Anyways, we're going to be doing a stream very soon. And uh, we'll be announcing it shortly. Here we have the Robotic Watcher, another megalithic site. Uh, and this is in Giants Playground, Montana. And it is so similar to one of, I found, the Reptilian Watcher uh, in Can or before Canmore, Alberta. It's in uh, Kananaskis, Alberta, Mount Yamnuska, uh, the Reptilian Roger that uh, we found and documented. Um, all right. All right, all right, all right. So here again, we have uh, writing on stone, and I have yet to release my pictures of that trip fully. Uh, this face, also Giants Playground, Montana. Like... It's not pareidolia, people. This is a picture of Sage Wall, Montana. And Sage Wall, here, more Sage Wall. Look at Sage Wall. Sage Wall is just, I believe, south, maybe southeast of um, Giants Playground. And it is something else. It's like a hundred, couple hundred, maybe even 300 feet long. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But... Uh, Wandering Wolf Productions, Mike Collins has been there. He's been there a couple times, I believe, and I'm hoping to meet up with him there in 2024. And if so, that will be next level. But either way, I will ask him all the details on the interview when uh, we have him on very soon uh, to be announced. And I want to explore with him and Julie Ryder, Giants Playground, this also in Giants Playground. Like, look at that. That is, that's a cat. Like, that's, it's freaking wild, man. That's an eroded statue. There's, uh, this is also Giant's Playground. They have massive vortex uh, on the mountain. Like, just wild, wild stuff. This is Three Sisters Canmore, and supposedly on the back of them, there are three carved indigenous sisters. Um, this is another three sisters that are pyramidal. Um, this is also carved in Giant's Playground. And it's pretty identical to the Giza Pyramid. Here we got a couple faces carved into uh, one of the sides of the mountains in Giant's Playground as well. Yeah, it could be petrified people or titans or something. Here we got writing on stone rock. Um, some of the site there. 
And I guess that is the end of this gallery. Um, it is 2.05 in the morning, and we're just over an hour in, so I think we're gonna, we're gonna cut her short tonight, we're gonna, gonna call her a night here around an hour, and I hope you enjoyed that. We will be back again soon, and we will go through more of these pictures of the Medicine Hat Badland Guardians, that is for sure. And if you want to come join and explore the terraces and the terraformed hills of the Medicine Hat Badland Guardians, and these are all different uh, pictures. Oh, uh, we got an uh, interview coming up with... Uh, yeah, I got to get connected with Scott Walter for show. Um, but we got Walter Bosley coming up on Thursday. Uh, we got Hans Day. Uh, it's Woo Woo Wednesday on a Thursday with myself, Hans, Julia, um, Walter Bosley, and his lovely lady, Malaya, all joining us on Thursday. So you'll want to be back for that. Uh, and who knows what else I got going on in between then. But look at this, look at this. If you, And I am currently a broke ass. So if you want to support me getting back down here this year to explore this area for all and with all of you, uh, please feel free to donate. Uh, and, you know, whether super sticker or, oh, and I might be back either tomorrow or Wednesday with, Frankie Fingers, a.k.a. New West Reset, as well as Shem Jacobs, Tartarian Truth, and the Elk Man. Uh, it is going to be quite the packed week, uh, I believe. And I love you all. Thank you for watching. And we will see you all on the next one, I guess. We will uh, call her good day. Everyone have a blessed week, and we'll see you soon. You crazy mother! Yeah. It's just burning.